contour lines and contour gradients. Basically, these two effects add lines outside of your layer or shapes. What's the difference between using this and with stroke or border? Well, with this and border, you can have multiple lines, except that this is quicker, while with border, it's a bit more work. However, with stroke, you can only have one line and not multiple lines. You can move the lines with this effect, you can't with these other two. You can make it fade at the end, while these two can't. You can move the line closer or further away from the shape or layer, while these can't. And that's pretty much it. Now let's dive deep into this effect. This is color. You can basically, well, adjust the color. <laughs> as well as animate the color by adding two keyframes on each end, and then changing the colors on each end. Outset is how close or how far you want the lines to be. The bigger the number, the further away the line would be. The smaller the number, the closer the line would be. Width is how thick you want the line to be. Pretty simple. The bigger the number, the thicker it would be. The smaller the number, the thinner it would be. Alpha is how transparent you want the lines to be. Fill is how transparent you want the inside to be. Count is how many lines you want. Minimum 1 and maximum 10. Face moves the lines. To animate the movement, just add two keyframes on each end. And then move it on the second keyframe. Fade is... Fade. Mind blowing. I know. Now what's the difference between contour lines and contour gradient? This is a line with no gradient, and this is a line with gradient. Subscribe. The difference is that there is no count, which means there is only one line and one line only. There is no face, which means you cannot move it. And there's two color options instead of one, but the rest stays the same. Now what can you do with this? Graphic designs, motion graphics, and an alternative to using borders and strokes. Subscribe.